morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new my name's april this is my two-year-old son martin and we live in nashville tennessee yeah. so for today's video i was planning on doing a really fun day in the life of a mom video martin and i were gonna go somewhere new and explore nashville but last well early this morning i think it was like 1 a.m we were woken up by tornado warnings and I gotta go now. we are home babe um yeah around 1 a.m we were woken up with tornado warnings and our phones had the large like the really loud alert noise and so we turned on the news checked our phones and sure enough there was a tornado in nashville and we needed to seek shelter or cover and um, I'll show you guys later in the video what we do when there's tornado warnings or when there's like an actual tornado and the damage that I've seen online is just devastating we were so lucky and there's no damage to our house we are all completely fine a little shaken up but like totally fine um, but literally just a mile or two away from us was completely taken out. Hi. So today's video is gonna be still a day in the life of a mom, but it's just gonna be a little bit different. And if I seem a little bit down, that is why, because my heart is just hurting for the people who have lost their homes. There's been reported deaths, and this is the first big natural disaster that has been so close to home for me. I was alive during the Northridge earthquakes in California, but I was so little I don't really remember them. And I know those were pretty devastating as well. Um, excuse you, where are you going? Where are you going? Kiddo's running off. Come here, Twinkle Toes. Martin, we sit down and eat. We don't run around with our breakfast. Keep coming back. Keep on coming. Hi. Um, so needless to say, I did not get much sleep at all last night, so I'm going to need a lot of coffee. Um, and Matthew and I... Mommy, mommy. Is it? Matthew and I were already talking that we need to find out like what we can do to help and maybe, I don't know, if there's somewhere we can... Uh, hi. Boom. If there's somewhere we could help clean up or... Don't touch the camera. Your messy hands. Or just something we could do to try to help because, yeah, we were so fortunate not to be hit by this tornado and it was probably one of the scarier moments that I've experienced. But anyways, we're having some breakfast and some coffee. Um, we're probably gonna do an activity this no, morning naked. and I will keep you guys updated letting you know it. you like it Letting you know how things are going mm. <laughs> And like So far it doesn't sound like Yeah, so so, ugh. so far it doesn't sound like any of our friends have had any damage any severe damage and everyone that I know is okay so that's good, I guess. So that's good. Hi, chickies. You guys okay? Chick, chick, chick. They don't seem phased at all. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, big hugs. Mom, 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 You okay? Oh my goodness. I don't even know like what to talk about today. Like my heart is just so heavy right now and I just want to hug my baby close and I am so grateful and so thankful that we didn't get hit the worst from this and i am so heartbroken for those who did huh bud
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what we do when there's a tornado or a tornado warning. Um, our house does not have a basement. So what we have been told to do is to go to a room that is towards the center of your house, preferably one with plumbing, but definitely one that does not have windows. So in our case, our house has a small half bath in the very center of our house. There's no windows. It's just like a teeny tiny little bath. Um, and so that's where we go. And I'll show you guys what I keep in there for tornadoes. So let's do this. Okay, so this is our teeny tiny little half bath. It's very small. Um, so we come in here, Matthew, Martin, and I, and then right here, we always grab Martin's bike helmet and we put this on him when there's a serious warning or an actual tornado, obviously. We keep a couple of flashlights and a bottle of water. And then I also grab my water that I always have by the bed. We really do need to get like a giant jug of water. And I always have these items under the sink here. Um, that's all we keep in here and we kind of just hope for the best and we close the door when it's very serious. Also out here, we make sure all of these doors are closed and we lock the dogs in this hallway because there is no windows. Um, and yeah, you just kind of hope for the best and pray and that's what we do. Another thing that we learned last night is that when there's a tornado warning, you want to get up, get dressed, put your shoes on and put like work boots or something like that on because if things get dangerous, you're going to want to have good shoes on. So that's what we did last night. Um, I do really wish Matthew and I had helmets, but we don't. It might be something we need to look into getting. And then, like I said, I want to get like a big jug of water to keep under the sink. And I want to get some like non-perishable snacks or things like that just to put under there just in case. Um, last night I grabbed Martin a cup of milk and a couple pouches because I wasn't sure how long we were going to be stuck in there or what was going to end up happening. But we honestly are so blessed. We got so, so, so lucky. And next time we will be even more prepared. And I hope and pray that there's not a next time because the damages that I'm seeing on the news are just devastating. But today I have a toddler. I can't just sit around and be sad. So I need to do something and so we're gonna play and I'm gonna be happy for him and I am actually gonna make some quinoa turkey chili tonight so I'll share that with you guys and let's just like bring this up a little is that a yummy snack yeah you have to chew Okay. All right, who remembers Elephant? They're coming, they're coming, there they go. Whoa, get them. Well, the concept kind of goes over his head, but he really likes dancing to this. Okay, so I'm getting the turkey chili, quinoa turkey chili going, and I am browning the turkey right now. You always wanna make sure you brown your turkey before you just like toss it in the slow cooker because, you know, turkey it needs to be cooked um, so that's what I'm doing right now and if you have a slow cooker that will brown it you can do it in there and we do have a slow cooker that browns it but I just find it way quicker to do it on the stove um, and all I have in my turkey right now is some onion and some salt and pepper and I will link the recipe down below that I base this off of 
I tweak my recipes quite a bit and I'll go over what I'm doing step by step. Um, the recipe is actually for a chicken quinoa chili, I believe, but I wanted to do ground turkey, so I'm switching it up a little bit. Okay, so I got my slow cooker. First, I'm gonna put in two cans of black beans. I rinsed these and drained them. Two cans. And then I am putting in a can of diced tomatoes. These ones are in tomato juice. And I'm also putting in a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. These are in green chilies. And then a little over a cup of quinoa. About three quarters of an onion. I'm keeping the rest of the onion for a chili topper. And then I'm gonna put three cups of low sodium chicken broth. And then I put in that ground turkey and onion that I had browned earlier. up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some red chili flakes in there. I'm not gonna put too much because I do wanna offer some of this to Martin and so I don't want it to be too spicy. Some chili powder. I'm gonna put some ground cumin. Yeah, baby. What, babe? Oh, okay. So I put it on low and slow for six hours. And just let it go. You would never guess how bad of a storm it was yesterday based off of what a beautiful sunny day it is today. It's crazy. they're okay, everything's fine. But seeing firsthand the damage and the devastation that this tornado has brought to so many people living in that area and so many people across Nashville, it's just so sad. And it's one thing when you see it on the news and it's another thing when you see it face to face in person. And my heart is just breaking for anyone who was affected by this tornado and I just feel so helpless right now and so truly blessed and fortunate that we are still here and our house is still standing with no damage it's just I don't know I'm it's just really this is a really hard day here in Nashville
You, what's your name? Martin. 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 Oh. Are you a baby? Yeah. I thought you were my big boy. Baby. Baby? Hi, silly. You guys, East Nashville is where I live. That is like maybe two miles from my house. All right, so I just put Martin down for a nap and one of the hardest things about being a parent is putting on a brave face and acting like everything's okay and it's a happy day when today is just very much not a happy day. I just read that 22 people are dead and that we are officially in a state of emergency. It's been declared that this is a state of emergency and I just feel so helpless. And I know like if we had someone here to watch Martin, I would go out there and I would help clean up because this is just so sad. And I just, I don't know. I met a loss for words at the same time, but I have to keep a brave face for Martin and I can't let him know like how sad I am and how awful this is because I like to, I need to protect him and he's, he's only two. He's not going to understand any of this. He just thought it was fun last night that he got to put his helmet on and he got to have snacks in the middle of the night. So I'm also thankful that this has gone completely over his head and he's not aware of what happened and I'm also so unbelievably thankful and I feel so blessed that we are safe my family is safe our house hasn't didn't have any damage to it the only slight bit of damage we had is a part of the, our chicken coop flew off and I am just like so grateful and so thankful and praying and praying and praying for everyone who was affected by this and just I cannot believe that it was so close to us and we were unaffected. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this here because today was just an emotional day. It was very draining for me. I only got three hours of sleep last night and my heart is just not in recording today. And I just need to end it. But if you are new, this is a sad day, but I hope you consider subscribing and we'll see you in our next one, guys. Bye.